Welcome back, Investing Mutants. This is Greg Miller with another edition of Special Situations Investing with Me. And this week I am talking about a tender offer from Eagle Bank of Montana, EBMT. Check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of my YouTube channel on Special Situations Investing through and my personal investing practice. As a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Any companies that I mention in this presentation are discussed solely for illustrative purposes. Discussing such companies and the specifics about them is to help educate me and educate you about certain special situations. It is not a solicitation to purchase them. I recommend that you conduct your own research and identify why you might want to own the company yourself prior to your committing of any funds. I also recommend that you seek the services of a financial advisor that has considered your personal situation as your fiduciary. And then finally, may your education here grow your knowledge, improve your personal investing performance, and give you the confidence to take control of your future. Thanks a bunch for watching. Now on to the video. Awesome, so it's been a pretty busy couple of weeks with all the different tender offers that are out there and this week we do have another tender offer that's on my watch list and that is Eagle Bank of Montana. It's a small regional bank based out of Montana, of, of course. It has a market capitalization of about 175 million. And they are doing a modified Dutch tender offer for up to $6 million in shares for or $6 million of shares of the company. The range of their tender offer is between 24 and 26.25 per share. And on the low end, that represents about 3.4, or excuse me, 3.7 to 3.4% of the total outstanding shares. So this isn't a, a huge percentage of the shares outstanding. It's kind of similar to the Sally Mae tender offer that we, we saw a little while back. For anyone interested that has a smaller portfolio, odd lots are accepted in this one. So if you have 99 shares or less, you can go ahead and and tender your offers in this, in this uh, tender offer and get all of your shares tendered at the tender price. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll make money right now. It was trading a little bit over $25 a share. So may or may not be uh, worth your time, but something to pay attention to. It might be a, a little bit of uh, extra money on the side. I'd I thought that I would spend a little bit of time doing uh, additional research on one of the ways to effectively identify whether or not a, a bank is a good, solid investment or not. And I want to talk, for those of you that are interested in longer-term investing for banks, to to a a risk metric that uh, I think is is quite important to pay pay attention to. I got this from David Einhorn, and you may or may not know who David Einhorn was, but he was one of the investors, or is, but he's one of the investors that's out of the the Big Short, and one of the people that shorted the housing market. And he talks in an interview about the. Uh, the Texas ratio. So the Texas ratio is a way to identify whether or not a bank is going to be going into default. And it's, or identifying whether or not it's got some problems in its loan portfolio. It came from from Texas banks back in the 1980s and a way to uh, kind of predict how how sound their loan portfolio was. And this is how it's calculated. You calculate the Texas ratio by taking the bank's overall non-performing assets and then divide that by the sum of the tier one equity, or in this in this case, the tangible common equity, and the loan loss reserves. Eagle Bank of Montana has a Texas ratio of about 0 0.05. So basically 20 times the company's <clears throat> 20, 20 times the company's current loan loss 
uh, losses would be necessary before you would see something being problematic. Typically, when you look at a Texas ratio, if it's over one or 100% of their loan losses and equity available for loan losses is out there and it's possibly being impacted by loan loss losses in the market or in the portfolio, then it means that the company would, would be running into issues. So anyway, this is a well-capitalized bank. They're going ahead and buying back about three, a little over three and a half percent of their shares outstanding. And for full disclosure, I'm not interested in buying this, not necessarily because I wouldn't be interested in participating in the tender offer, but more because my entire portfolio is fully invested at this time. Hope this helps you out. If you're interested in it and you participate in this tender offer, please comment in the section below. I'd love to reach out to you and, and see how this one works out for you. And we'll catch you next week. Thanks a bunch, guys.